I really feel like we need to mention James Young because I mean, let's not say he's maybe on the way out. He's in his second year, hasn't even started his second year yet. But totally fine. Still, With, the still. caveat that the last risk goes there and everything. But yeah. but but if we're looking, but, we're yeah. looking for that evidence. So and let's let's use this to kind of talk about the rookies too, because we we saw all three of the rookies get some time and and show some promise and yeah. uh, especially we're looking at R.J. Hunter because Hunter and Young play the same spot. Yeah. Now R.J. Hunter went in against that competition and looked. For the most part, sometimes you know he, he made some rookie mistakes, but man, he looked smooth. He really looked like he was comfortable out there. Yeah. He he was when he came time to shoot, he shot with confidence, and he had that typical quick trigger release, and, and the shots were falling. For the most part, uh, he was comfortable within the offense. He found some guys. It didn't look like he was lost at all. He it yeah. felt like he belonged in that mix. And you saw like the hints, the 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 evidence that okay, I can see it. I can see where this kid might might actually do something this year. Yeah, I, I said this on Twitter. It didn't look like he didn't belong. Yeah. Whereas whereas Young gets out there and still he's in his second year. He's had one year of professional experience. He gets out there and he looks like the kid who showed up at science class and didn't know he had a test and had completely forgotten to study. And is completely lost. Yeah. As soon as he looks at that exam, and he still looks that way. Like he doesn't have that feel for the game you want, which Hunter does seem to have. And it's just like, at what point does his potential become like? Okay, it's it's not going to pan out. And he's he's twenty. He's the youngest guy on the roster. <laughs> like every reaction we have to him has to come with that. Like, he is right. still in year two, the youngest guy on the roster. He's athletic. He's long. He should be able to shoot. Like, he has a nice stroke. Um, but at some point, like, he's going to have to learn how to play basketball and show that he knows how to play basketball, and he hasn't done that yet. Yeah, that's that's the big thing. We, we can only go by the eye test at this point. I I. I really don't want to overreact to things, but we we saw it in summer league. He didn't look great, and then he, he then he got hurt again. Yeah, and, that was the thing to me. Like, like normally guys come back in their second year of summer league, and they're clearly a step above because they've played professional competition for a full year. And Young came back, and it was like there was a ton of hype about him. Like he's put on fifteen pounds of muscle. Right, he's getting so much better. He's working so hard now. And then it was like no, nope. like straight up belly flop the whole time. I and and here's the thing: and, he dominated in Maine, dominated in he did, Maine, he did. like he killed, dominated in the D League. And coaches he, were saying like he's the best player we've ever seen at the D League. Like right, he was and so then good in the D League. So then you sit there and you're like, okay, I've seen, I've seen it before. There are a lot of guys who go into the D League and really yeah. play well doesn't translate the next level some so we I personally said okay still still a rookie he's got a lot of promise dominated the D league no problem give him time he's got that promise summer league is the D league summer league is the same types of players some of those guys won't even make the D league yeah. so is it is it because in Maine he he was the guy. He had the green light. You're the man, James Young. You can go do yeah. whatever. And then in the summer league, and now he's trying to work within the offense with better players, and he just can't find himself without getting a ton of touches. Yeah, I think whenever I start to overreact to young players, I remember what I thought of Avery Bradley his rookie year. A Avery Bradley was an absolute mess his rookie year. Like, there was no salvageable offensive skill in his entire body. He would shoot shots that looked like they were going to go straight through the backboard. Like, <laughs> like, couldn't dribble, couldn't shoot. Like, 
could literally couldn't do a single thing at the NBA level. And then the, literally the next year he started for a team that made it, I believe, to the Eastern Conference Finals. So it's like sometimes it's just a confidence matter. 